Hello, all you pioneers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back here in Satisfactory 1.0. Well, in the last episode, we got our copper facility or our copper production lines all set up and running. And we've got enough power to run that facility as well as the limestone facility or the production line that we got set up down below. So today, what I want to do is lay out where I want to put my bio biomass burner uh, burners and I've got an idea on how I want to set those up I just need to kind of lay out the space and I don't know if I want to put it right here because there's going to ultimately end up being six bio burners which will take up uh, or that'll create 180 megawatts of power uh, if that's uh, you know if I keep them just at the standard level so, uh, I don't know if I want to put it in here or if I want to put it in over here because we have the three iron nodes that we know about right here, which we're going to be putting into our production facility. We have uh, the copper processing over there and I can run power lines over to it and so I'm thinking I'm going to put them in right here. But first, let's me do this. Let me uh, clear out our edit to do list. Yeah, let's clear that list. And then we want to put in at least for power at least three of these now the ones that I've already got set up will end up uh, dismantling those and getting the materials back for them so we need look what looks like plates and we can make those fairly quickly uh, I probably should put a couple more of these up and in and we should probably put more of that in to see what we need so we can get those three laid in here because uh, what I do is I kind of my layout for my biomass burners it'll have the burners and then I have a constructor that will create the solid biofuel uh, and then we'll have uh, constructors that will create the biomass that will go into the solid biofuel so I need a little bit of room for that. And I'm just really kind of not sure exactly. I'm thinking actually over here would probably be a better spot because this will allow me room to grow. If I put the biomass burners right along here, six of them this way, then I can build out this away. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put those in right there. So let's make sure we got enough materials. And I've already started getting the power poles and power structures in. So that'll be fairly easy to move. And I also think uh, my iron... Uh, I've made some layouts on what I want to do. So actually, I think these... This miner and these smelters can stay right in place. We're not going to have to dismantle these because we're going to end up building these on out to create metal plates. All right, so let me get at least three biomass burners up. So we need more plates. That's not what I wanted. Uh, we need more plates. And we should be able to make those over here. Let's see, uh, plates. Yeah, I can make 84, so let's go ahead and get enough plates. I should be able to make some rods. So we'll get these pounded out. And then we'll start to get the 
power under control. Oh, okay, I need iron rods. I had got my plates. And, okay, I got, uh, uh, I need concrete. I at least need two of those. There we go, we've got that. And then wire. Can I make wire? I do. I got enough stuff on me to make wire. And then that should give us enough to put those three biomass burners down. Okay, now the other thing, we can make biofuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Uh, let's uh, get our biofuel made. And we'll get some leaves made. And I've got biofuel in those others that are already burning. So we'll be able to pull that biofuel in from them. And like I said, once I get the my layout in for my biomass burners, burners, biomass burners, then all I got to do is feed leaves into the process, and ultimately it will make the biofuel, solid biofuel that'll burn in the burners. All right, uh, about a hundred to go yet, and again we want to get these so that we actually have the fuel in place. Okay, and we're getting close. Bear with me here. We're pounding this out. So, again, my biomass burners, ultimately I'm going to have six, so we're going to start with three. I'll have a splitter that'll be flowing into those three that will channel the biomass fuel into them. And then uh, coming out of, I'll have another splitter that'll uh, split the solid biofuel into two areas, which will go into two storage areas. And then the solid biofuel uh, constructor which will produce that. All right, there we go. All right. So let's go start laying these out up here. And I'm thinking right about here. So let's see. Once we get the first one laid down, I think right... will be good and then uh, right there will be good and let's just get the put that one right there okay now let's get out of here So we are going to need, I got those two poles in already. Uh, we're going to need at least two here. So let's go ahead and put two poles down. Actually, let's put three poles down. Let's just do it like this. One here. Oh, you know what? I think I messed up, though. Let me do this again. I turned these the wrong way. Dang it. All right. Well, that's easy to remedy. Fix it. Make sure that we don't waste any materials. Let's put these out. I need the uh, conveyor input facing the opposite direction. All right, let's try this again. All right, we need this around this away. There we go. And 
that's right there. That's better. All right, let's put that one down. Move over here. All right, you're not gonna let me, you're not gonna give me the mark. Uh, that'll be close enough, right? Get those as close as we can. Save on space. Let's put that one right there. And let's put this one right here. All right, that looks better. Because we need our conveyor system to be, we're going to end up putting a splitter right out here, which will channel the solid biofuel into all three of these. All right, so we got one there. And let's put, uh, let's put one. Right here, and then we'll go ahead and put one right here. Now let's connect all of these in. Put that one into there. Put that one into there. And then we'll put that one into there. These are for future. So let's uh, escape out of here now. And let's go ahead and connect this one into this power grid there, which that already has these all connected in. We can then go ahead and Remove this one. And then if we run this over, let's uh, get our wire here. We can connect that into right there. So that has these all connected into that grid right there along with that. So those three grids will give us uh, 90 megawatts. And let's just kind of look at our configuration. Right now our max consumption of everything is 55 megawatts. We're currently consuming 38.4. And our capacity right now is 60. Uh, oh, that's because those, I don't believe I don't have those running yet. Uh, so let's, well, we can go ahead and grab the solid biofuel out of this one. Oh, we've got biomass is what I've been running in here. All right, which is fine. We'll grab that and we'll turn that into solid biofuel. Okay, uh, let's pound this out fairly quickly. I want to get those three up and running before I dismantle the two that I have running over on the other side. Okay, uh, almost there. And in this way, I can, can continually expand out on my biomass burners. Okay, pounding away. And almost there.
All right. Well, let's go ahead and throw this in. Uh, let's go ahead and put 200 into that. And it is producing into the grid. Actually, if we look at the grid now, it should say, uh, oh, I don't have this all hooked in. Here we go. Let's this one. So now we are at 90. So that's, we've got that going. All right. So we've got that one up and running. We can, uh, we should be able to come down here to the limestone one. It's still connected into the grid and take this burner out, recover our resources. We don't need it down here. And then this will give us the ability to add. So if we get down here, we should still see that this grid is 90. And, oh, I got biomass in here too. All right, well, let's take that out. And let's uh, go ahead and dismantle this out of the grid. And you can see we are still functioning because we've got our other, got that all hooked into the other power grid up here. I'd like to get 200 of the bio, solid biofuel into these grids. And let's see if we can make these. Uh, might have to gather some more materials. Well, let me check the box here, too. Uh, okay, I don't have... I haven't researched that yet. Okay, I tell you what. Let's get over here and pound this out. I guess I didn't get the biofuel. I guess we had just gotten that. All right. Now I'm going to have to go out and gather. I think I ended up uh, uh, doing a little bit of research. So let's let me do this. Uh, I did get my power saw, and I do have my zapper. So from that research, I did. I went ahead and made it, made the power saw. So we can go ahead and start clearing some of this stuff out, as well as collecting biofuel. We're collecting stuff to make our biofuel. Uh, let's grab this. We can take these out. Grab this. That clears out that area. see what I put in here. Oh, I do have biofuel in here. Alright, that's good. Let's see if we can get enough made up. For our other two. Alright, any dangers out here. We're going to get that parts assembly done today as well. I did do the research on the fungi. So we've got that to where we can make uh, biomass out of it. So we're just going to go ahead and 
clear out this area right over here. And... Being able to get this wood with the power saw really helps a lot. So... Alright, I think that's good for now. Uh, let's, uh, jump through here. You know what? Let's take these guys out of the way. There we go. Okay. It's a kind of a slow process here at first, getting things set up. But we should be able to get quite a bit. Get all of these leaves pounded out. I can get all three of these going. Lots of wood. Once... Once we get uh, this uh, going, then we can start focusing on our uh, iron production, our iron plates. And that gives us the ability to make, yeah, this will give us more than enough biofuel. But we'll get this pounded out. Again, this is gonna become a uh, more of an automated process. The only thing I'll have to do is just go and gather the leaves, the wood, uh, the fungi, the mycelia, and then I can feed that into the appropriate constructors, and then it'll push that solid biofuel all the way into the burners. All right, let's see. Got, I may not pound all of this out. I want to get 200 and then uh, I can take the biofuel out of that other one. And then I can dismantle that. And then we can get this grid fully up and functioning. Okay, let's start with that. Let's go and uh, get this next one up and running. Hopefully the big guy will get out of our way here. And let's uh, throw uh, these 200 into here. Now we've got to connect this into the grid. So let's just do this. All right, we've got that connected into the grid. We can now take this other one off. Grab the biofuel out of it. And then we'll actually have three bio burners running instead of just the two. Okay, let's take that out. And we can take that out. this third one in. Alright, where's, uh, we'll just grab that. And we can connect this one into the grid. There we go. Alright, now if we look, we should have 90 megawatt capacity because we've got the three burning here. We're still the max possible consumption is 55 right now, and we're currently consuming 34. So that gives us some room to grow with our power. The only thing we've got to do is just keep an eye for right now on making sure that we've got uh, uh, power into the burners. So let's 
see if we can get started here. So what I want to do is get my plates and screws and stuff going. I don't know if we'll get it all done today. So the next thing I need to put in, though, off of these two smelters is uh, a couple of constructors. So let's do this. Let's go to production. Let's add a couple of these constructors into the list. And I need some more reinforced plates. Uh, like three of them. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, let's see. I need some more iron plates. And I guess I need screws. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see how many plates. I said I needed three more. There we go. Go ahead and make these. That will allow us to put in the two constructors. Now, the constructors, I believe, if I remember, are four megawatts. So we should be able to... put these two constructors in right here. We do have a little bit of hillage right here, which uh, I'll probably have to put one up. Let's put this one in first over here. And that's got to come in that way. Uh, that will set up there. Let's see. Actually, let's come over here. See how close I can get to Okay, that's encroaching there. Let's hit the uh, H and let's see where we've got this in place back here. That should allow that to come up and in. That should give us room there. And that should be fairly close. Uh, let's see if we can nudge that over just one, at least once. And that should work. So let's. Go ahead and put that one in right there. Uh, I believe we have uh, uh, three is what we want. See if that will connect. We no, we got enough for that. And then we want to put our next constructor in right here. All right. Let's uh, hit eight. Oh, no. Unlock it. Put H right there. Now let's see what we got. Okay, we do need to nudge that over quite a little bit. Let's go at least. I think right about there actually lines that up. And maybe this way a little bit. Let's put that right there. Okay. Alright, let's get uh, this one plugged into there. Okay, so this okay, both of these are going to be making plates. So we can do this select the recipe for that and we can select the recipe for this one okay so that's in place we just need to connect power to them uh, let's see we've got Let's leave that one open. We can go ahead and put wire from this one here over to there. And then we can put this one over to there. We might have to do a little more finagling with these 
poles. As we expand this out, we might have to add more poles so that we can kind of branch that off. I wish I could t attach more to these poles. That would make it a little bit easier. But, okay, so coming out of here, uh, looking at my schematics that I've drew up, uh, I have these coming out into a merge block. So I need to create a merge block here. So let's see if I got enough stuff to do that. Uh, logistics. Merge. I do. All right. So this is going to come out this way. So we need. Uh, I'm going to have another one. So we want to go ahead and just center it off of this one. I think about like that. And then if we grab our conveyor, this one's going to come into here. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, good. I was worried that that was going to be too steep. So that's going to come into there. And then we're going to have another one coming off of probably that further ore vein right there. It'll come over and then we'll start building out from there. All right. And then I have this set up to go into a storage bin right here. So let's see if we've got enough for that. Uh, we do. All right. Good deal. All right. Kind of see if we can't get this lined up. All right. Let's hit the hologram. Hold it in place. Oh, yeah, we can bring this back quite a ways. Let's uh, nudge this back. Now, let's see how this looks lined up. Uh, looks like we can move it over. Uh, I think that looks pretty good go ahead and then we can connect this up and we are now all of our plates go into that storage section there and we're going to have another constructor once I get the other one built out so this way this gives us plates and we should be able to get those uh, 300 plates fairly quickly to get our next parts assembly uh, milestone. And then we've got also got to build the space elevator for our next objective. Now, I am thinking out over in this area, out and in here, because we've got our main base here. We'll have our space elevator. This is, it's a fairly large building. And so it would take up most all of this area out here, but we'll get to that. All right, let's check on our biofuel burners here. See how much they have used. Uh, 113. Okay, that still has 178 and 160, so we're still okay. Let me go ahead and just make a little more solid biofuel while we're got it available to us. And let's get down here. 
pound a little bit more of that out. All right, so we've got our plates making, so we should be able to get our 300 plates fairly quickly. That production line that we're putting in over there for the iron is ultimately going to end up creating our reinforced plates so that we won't have to build those. All right, we'll keep pounding away here. And then I think the next step that we want to do is start getting our next set of miner, get our next miner in place. which is going to create our rods and screws. All right, that's good for now. Uh, I believe, let me check something though. Our production, we don't have our assembler yet. And I think we might get that with this next parts assembly. So we're gonna have to probably start focusing on that. Uh, let's get, make sure these, these biomass burners are full. And we will drop that in there. That gives that 200. Uh, I need to keep a little bit of that. So, we're good here. I just mainly wanted to get that one. Alright. Uh, let's see how many plates we've got built. See if we can get our 300. So, we've got 200. And... Grab that. That gives us, uh, uh, let's sort this, 247, let's grab these. Let's see if we can go ahead and finish pounding out the rest of these. So we're going to grab some ingots out of here. And then we need about 50 more plates, I believe, something like that. Go ahead and drop what we can in here. Uh, do that and do that. Uh, 41 more plates. So let's go ahead and make those 41 more plates. And then we're going to have to grab some ingots and make those 200 rods. I do want to get that parts assembly done. Which means we need to make rods and screws from those rods and we probably should have enough cable over there already so we can grab the cable oh there we go we got plenty of plates let's get this over here there we go 300 plates uh let's go grab our cable because that production is already in place over here and that should be right here i believe uh, we needed 200. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some more just so we have it. And we can get, get that cabling in place. And then we'll just have this rods and screws to deal with. All right, let's drop that in there. Uh, let's go grab another hundred of these ingots and we should almost be able to get this done okay uh, I need rods well first off we'll get we'll make our screws first we need 500 of those so let's see if we can make enough rods to get our 500 screws. 
and then we can make our the rods that we need. Okay. Up oh, there we go. All right. And we're gonna have to grab some more iron ingots here, but this will be good because I think this parts assembly gives us the assembler that we need to be able to create the reinforced plates. And there's a couple of other things that we're gonna need it for as well. So we're steadily getting this thing automated. So we've managed to get all of our copper wire and our cable is all being automated. We have, I think once we get this next parts assembly, we'll have the recipe for our copper sheets. And so that's all going to be accumulated and we won't have to worry about making those. And then we can move on to our next milestone. Okay. Almost there on our screws. Okay, there we go. There's our screws. So let's go ahead and put those over here in. And let's go grab some more iron ingots. Yeah, let's grab a couple of them. I think those will end up catching up to where we're at. Uh, but let's uh, get these iron rods made. We needed 200, and we got just enough stuff to make the 200. So those should pound out fairly quickly, actually. I think because I think it's one for one. Or maybe it's a little more than that. Uh, I know it only takes the hammer once to make a set of rods, so... We're just going to be able to make enough. Okay, almost getting close. There we go. All right. And here we are, a launch pod. Okay, let's go ahead and launch this. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fix-it cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Well, I'm glad Fix-it appreciates that even though we are inadequate at making things. All right, so we've got that up. Uh, let's uh, see what our next milestone is that we need to reach. And that's uh, it's a jump pad, so that requires that. We should have gotten that blueprint for rotors, routers. Uh, this we can build, build gun upgrade customizer. And we got logistics. 
I actually think we're going to do the logistics first. Because I think these these items will be more useful to us. Uh, we're going to want to do this as well. But let's start with the logistics. Let's select that milestone. So we should be able to... Once we get the rods and stuff in place, then those are going to be produced for us automatically. So let's go ahead and select that. The other thing I need to do is put on the blueprint is the space elevator or our to-do list. So if we go to special, we've got a space elevator and that takes 1500 copper wire. Uh, it takes uh, plates, 250, and it takes a lot of concrete. So let's go ahead and add that in so that our blueprints are, are, so we know what we need for our to-do list. And I wanted to show you a couple of things. So we got the MAM set up over here and I've already did some research on these. So we have, let's see, Stinger research. Oh, this is the, we did the Hatcher research. I don't think we've come across stingers yet, and we haven't come across the splitters or the hog research. Somehow I got a feeling we are. Uh, this is what we've kind of been dealing down through here. We did the hatcher. So what I did the other day or in our last episode was I went ahead and did the mycelia since I uh, was able to harvest some of that, and we've got that down so that's given us uh, our ability to create biomass out of that now we're going to have to do some medical properties in these but we're not to that yet and then for nutrients we've already done the burl nut uh, we can go ahead and collect this actually there's some of these right out here uh let's there's one right over there let's go ahead and just grab some of these since we've got these researched and they help heal us let's go ahead and grab this bacon agaric so let's go ahead and do that Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Okay, well, let's research this. Uh, yep, let's start the research. Firm. This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Okay, so we've got that done. So we just got to find the pale berry and then we can... This might be the first one you end up unlocking, so... All right. Uh, anyway, so that's when I want to show you what I got researched. And so with our blueprints and stuff that we, we can make a portable miner, our object scanner. I haven't done that yet. We were able to do the chainsaw and then our current Xeno Zapper. So that's what we're working towards. And I see our freighter is back. It's, it's landing. Again, that's pretty cool. I like looking at that. All right, so that is in place. There it is, freighter re-entry. Uh, all right, I think, well, it just takes some time. We managed to get our, uh, what I want for my biomass uh, burner uh, power source set up. We've got that started. And I have our plates being made. We've got that set up today. 
So I think that's about what we're going to be able to get done. Uh, in the next episode, I want to continue building out our iron and continually working on some of our milestones. And I hopefully in the next episode, we get uh, uh, we build the space elevator. So we need to get that going. Well, I think that about wraps things up today. All right. Well, all you pioneers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Okay, pioneers, keep building away. Keep those production lines going. And don't get eaten by any of the fauna around here. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.